Hello guys! So today we have really seen a black swan event on the market. Over $1 billion in crypto assets were liquidated within the last 24 hours. The current crypto and fear grid index is at 26. So there is a lot of fear on the market, but luckily we see some kind of recovery on the crypto markets. And how do you see it? Are you afraid of the crypto collapse and uh, of the US recession or do you use this opportunity and just buy the dips? As for me, I buy the dips and in this video I'm gonna share which coins I'm buying. And uh, yeah, I see this just as a, a short uh, market opportunity to buy more. But of course you should remember there may be some other situations and reasons for other market drops, such as possible outrage of the Iran and Israel war. So the situation is still uncertain and in such case the market may drop much more. So my advice is just to use dollar cost average and always have uh, extra cash, extra, extra stable coins, uh, like your insurance fund to buy bigger market dips. So let's review first the current market news and uh, the coins I consider was to buy. So here we see crypto fee and grid index currently as 26. So actually you should follow the rule of Warren Buffett to buy when everybody is fearful. So if we check the markets, uh, let's check first of course Bitcoin. It went down to 48k today. What quickly recovered uh, to 53k already. So if you bought the dip, congratulations. Uh, but maybe it was not really a dip because, for example, CryptoQuant uh, research uh, analytics company uh, thinks that Bitcoin pri uh, price could even plummet to 40,000. But whether their prediction will come true or not, let's see. And this time we see really quick recovery of the market, but of course it's not full recovery. Uh, so of course I consider that in such situations you should buy first the major coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum and uh, maybe some other major projects as for example Solana, BNB, uh, Toncoin, uh, some fundamental projects. Because nobody after such a big drop will be still interested in meme coins or in some less known projects because everybody will be full of fear. And as you know, first Bitcoin rises and then everything else follows. So first of all, I consider Bitcoin to be the best path. But first, let's see as well, why do we see such big liquidations on the markets and what actually happened to remind you. So the station began with an expected decision by the Bank of Japan to raise interest rates and reduce its balance sheet. This move disrupted global carry trades, causing a chain reaction, and the Japanese yen as well surged. It strengthened 2.4% against the US dollar, prompting global investors to liquidate various assets, including stocks, to repay yen-denominated debts. This shift severely impacted the US stock market as well, leading to a significant decline. So yeah, we see not only crypto market collapsing, but all the markets, US stock uh, market, Dow Jones, uh, Japanese stock market, Indian stock market, Korean. So basically everything is down. And uh, Japan's Nikkei index suffering its worst day in 37 years amid worries over the possibility of a global recession. And as well besides this, oil prices as well slipped. So brand crude prices were down 1% to 76.04 US dollars today morning. So it was the lowest point this year. Simultaneously, there are, as I said, the U.S. economy uh, recession fears and uh, the latest non-farm payroll data uh, fell short of expectations with the unemployment rate raising to 4.3%, deepening concerns about economic prospects. But actually, the data was for July, so I wouldn't be that much fearful. 
and uh, the federal's resource eventful interest rate cuts would likely lead to a weaker dollar and as well we will probably see the next money printing so today we see some kind of the same COVID events uh, when to recover the economy the US printed again a lot of uh, cash a lot of dollars and uh, as well everybody receives their paychecks and we pumped this way crypto markets so for the crypto this is very beneficial situation and i would use such opportunities to profit from the markets and especially if you didn't buy your assets in time you now have such opportunity so you really should invest when everybody is super fearful Maybe we wouldn't see, and probably we wouldn't see a super cycle just immediately. It will probably take at least a few months now. Well, maybe not, maybe I'm mistaken. But you shouldn't really have a big expectation. So the market pumping hugely the next days, but still it's a great opportunity to buy the dip. As well, besides crypto markets, US stock market as well shows uh, signs of recovery. And uh, so the S&P 500 index as well has narrowed its losses and uh, Nasdaq as well reduced its decline. So as I said, the first of all, I would load my bags of Bitcoin. And because Bitcoin dominance rises to 60% as well amid crypto market slump. So what does it mean? Uh, it uh, describes the total market share that Bitcoin maintains relative to other cryptocurrencies. And it has increased by 9 percentage points since Friday and has reached a yearly high amidst the broader market pullback. So everybody thinks about Bitcoin as a safe asset. And first of all, everybody will buy Bitcoin during such times and hold Bitcoin because it's really digital gold. And all these biggest institutional investors, BlackRock, Fidelity and Grayscale, as well, they, they don't sell Bitcoin and they additionally saw a significant trade in volumes. So BlackRock's IBT has surpassed $1.5 billion in trade in volume today, currently standing at $1.517 uh, billion. And additionally, Fidelity's FBTC has reached a trade in volume of $389 million and Grayscale's GBDC has recorded a trading volume of $293 million. Additionally, there was shown the data by Arkham Intelligence Platform last week that US government holds over 50,000 Ethereum. So they still hold this Ethereum and the US government doesn't sell as well. So you see all these huge players, they are playing against you and they don't sell the Bitcoin or Ethereum. And we have as well some great news, such as Europe's first largest investment manager, uh, Kapula Management, disclosed 500 million in spot Bitcoin at ETFs amid market volatility. And this includes 211 million worth of Fidelity Bitcoin ETF known as uh, Fidelity Vice Origin Bitcoin. So this is uh, really cool news. So you see now really fundamentals for crypto and for Bitcoin as investment asset. And now all these biggest investment managers uh, stick to it. And even Barnek, uh, one of the biggest uh, investment managers as well now, tweeting a lot that they are holding. Next news. Yeah, so let's uh, review as well which coins I'm buying. I bought at the lower prices a bit but I plan to do a dollar cost average. I don't play now harshly uh, with it. So Ethereum is currently really cheap. It's at $2,400 and it traded over $3,000 just last week. Uh, so it's as well quite a great enterprise to get in now and it's the second largest cryptocurrency. Of course, Solana, if you didn't buy it at the cheap price, if you didn't buy it during the biggest dip at $10, uh, but you see and you bet in on Solana and in yesterday's video, we showed some CoinGecko uh, research certs 
how much Solana will rise. So there are some conservative thoughts that it will rise only to $300 during the bull market, but it's still good. It's like almost 3x from current entry point or like Chris Berniski thinks that even $1,000 for Solana is quite conservative. So there are different bets on Solana, but it's a fundamental coin, uh, top five coins on the coin market cap. And 130 is quite a great entry price too. Today it was even lower at 111. The next coin is BNB. And as well, it's a good bet, especially to use Binance Launchpad. Then you can stake your BNB on Binance and you can get some free airdrops of the top coins launching on Binance Launchpad. Like there was launch of Altlayer, Monta Network, Athena, and many, many others. So if you want to participate in this Binance Launchpad and to get those free airdrops, you can uh, buy now BNB at the cheaper price. You can check out Toncoin. It's currently not really at the big discount, I think. Ah, no. Okay, it's down 11% today. So yeah, it's quite a good enterprise. Let's see what was the price on the top. So Pantera invested quite a lot into Toncoin. And it was at almost its all-time high already at $7. So currently we see a bit discount and it has potential to rise much more with this adoption of different uh, apps on Telegram and there are a lot of activities. So let's see. As well, since I bet on Solana, I bet as well on Solana ecosystem and especially on exchanges. Uh, so you can check out Tradium one of the leading exchanges for Solana. They are totally down now today, 77%. And they're a bit down today too. So it's as well, not a bad coin to buy during this dip. Today it's down just 9%. So the most affected assets were actually Bitcoin and Ethereum for now. Uh, altcoins were not that much affected. As well as the exchange is Jupiter and they just approved uh, the, burn of, the burning of the 30% of the supply of the token. So it's really good news. And from the chart, you can see the up and downs but I bet just on the same adoption of Ray as Radium and that it may take the same pass as Radium and just try. So today it's down 10% too. If you are interested to buy some altcoins, it be, may be as well not that a bad bet. Now the coin I bought a bit is Celeste. At the all-time high price, it was trading at $17. Today it's at $5. So it's at least potentially a 3x uh, return for you if you buy today. So today it's down too. But first of all, uh, I would say the biggest uh, loads of your bags should be fundamental top five coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana. They will first rise and then all other altcoins will rise too. So actually, yeah, I even profit today from Celeste because it rose 6% from my entry price. So it's recovering quite well. So let's see. And let's get back to our news. So Goldman Sachs economists have increased the likelihood of U.S. recession next year from 15 to 25%. And despite this, they emphasize that there are several reasons not to be overly concerned about the recession, even with a significant rise in unemployment rates. As well, there are a lot of bets on central banks easing monetary policies. 
and the currency market significantly increased its bets on the Federal Reserve easing its monetary policy, surpassing the expectations of policymakers. Shortly after, the market also heightened its bets that the European Central Bank would follow the Federal Reserve in cutting interest rates. And in the yesterday's video, I as well uh, showed uh, the expectations of the European Central Bank to cut rates starting in September. Yesterday, I as well shared that Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, has currently the biggest cash reserves ever. But as well, despite that, the whole market is crashing and Berkshire Hathaway stock is as well a bit down today. It's down 3.12%. Uh, so the cash reserves reached uh, the record of $276.94 billion. Uh, with uh, the significant reductions in its Apple stocks, but as well we see their own stock is um, dropping as well. So guys, what do you think about the current market situation? Are you just holding everything in stable coins or are you fearful about the current market? Or what uh, coins do you currently buy? Share your answers in the comments under this video. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. Hope you will use this opportunity to load your bags more of crypto and uh, hope uh, you will profit for it. Goodbye.